Hi everyone, I'm Nicholas from Candrone. Uh, today's video we're going to be talking about the M400, comparing it to the Matrice 350, talking about some of the improvements and ultimately answer, you know, what makes the M400 better than the M350. All right, so let's talk a bit about the battery on the Matrice 400. So as you might have already noticed, it's a single battery system compared to the older dual battery system with the Matrice 350. Now there are some benefits, some drawbacks. Of course, uh, one thing DJI didn't take back is the hot swap feature. You can still hot swap the battery on the Matrice 400, which is great. Um, and also with the single battery system, it doesn't take away from the flight time uh, just because there's one battery. You know, the capacity of the one battery is very, if it's a bit more than the actual dual battery system. Uh, the flight time, uh, we actually did a hover test with the Matrice 400 and we, f we got a f total hover time of 42 minutes, which is comparable to the Matrice 350 uh, flight time in forward motions. Another thing DJI did uh, for the Matrice 400, uh, there's actually two different batteries you can get for it. There's the regular battery as well as the tether battery. So uh, before, if you wanted to attach a tether to the Matrice 350, for example, uh, you actually had to get a module. Uh, in addition to the tethering station. Uh, the module was a device that you would attach to the drone, which you would attach the tethering station to so that the battery can charge while you're flying, essentially offering unlimited flight time, uh, which, is, which is a really, really great addition. Uh, but with the alternate battery DJI has made for the Matrice 400, it already has that connection built into the battery. So all you need is a tether station, which can connect directly to that battery, uh, essentially taking out the need for a, a module, which is really nice. One thing I love about the Matrice 400 is just how satisfying it is to put in the battery. With the M350, of course, you got the two batteries, you need two hands, you know, slide them into the drone, but with the 400, it's just a nice satisfying slide in and then push the handle down and you're good to fly. We did speak with Grant from DJI. I uh, don't know if you guys saw my previous video on the channel, but uh, you can actually attach seven payloads simultaneously to the M400, thanks to all the expansion ports that DJI built into it. Now, seven is a bit overkill, but you can do it. So, you know, that offers you full customizability on, on the use case with this drone. You know, it can do anything with the amount of payloads you can attach to it. All right, so let's talk a bit about the obstacle avoidance on the Matrice 400. So as it stands out, I'm sure you've seen, uh, it's got the LiDAR on top, which is one of the best forms of obstacle avoidance you can get. You know, the light's gonna shine on everything. The drone's gonna be able to see all the obstacles around it. It also has some fisheye uh, sensors around uh, the top. Uh, one great feature about these uh, sensors is that you can actually see them while you're flying the drone. Not only can you see through them, you can see them through them in full color, which is something that hasn't been offered on any other DJI drones, which is uh, really, really great. Um, another thing I'd like to mention uh, while you're doing LiDAR scanning on power lines, uh, you can actually see the power line in highlighted in red, so it just makes it a bit easier and safer to uh, conduct any kind of power line scans with the M400. So let's talk a bit about some of the AI features on the M400. So as you might have seen on the Matrice 4 series drones, including the dock one and the regular one, uh, they have the new feature to be able to detect people, boats, and cars. Uh, so you can actually get a signature of all of those different objects on your drone and be able to track them uh, while they move around in the area that your drone is flying in, uh, which is really cool. That's something that we actually showed in Demo Day. Uh, if you were there, uh, it was able to track Van uh, through the crowd of people. Super, super cool. Uh, and uh, that feature is also available on the M400 as long as if you have a compatible payload. So let's talk a bit about the mission planning on the Matrice 400. Uh, in our previous video, we actually did uh, a dam using the new 3D uh, smart planning feature on the Matrice 4. That same feature is also available on the Matrice 400. Super, super cool how it works. Um, you basically collect a map of the area. DJI will make uh, 
low resolution point cloud of the area that you've mapped. And using that point cloud, you can actually plan a 3D mission around an object in that area very precisely uh, right on the controller. All of that processing is done right on the controller, uh, which saves a lot of time in the long run. That feature is very similar to one that was offered on the Matrice 350, uh, but the only difference is you kind of had to collect the data with the Matrice 350, throw it into DJI Flight Hub, do the processing on that platform, and then from there you would bring that data over to the Matrice 350 to plan the mission around. Uh, so it's a bit more tedious, made so much easier with the uh, Matrice 400 here. Another thing that DJI added with the Matrice 400 is all the AR features, which really, really useful. Uh, one that I really like is the AR Street name. So while you're actually flying the drone and you're flying near streets, maybe you're in downtown Vancouver, you'll be able to see the name of the street that you're next to. Maybe you're flying on Hastings or Robson Street, you'll see the street name as well as the lines of the street. So even if you can't see it on uh, maybe the street you're trying to fly to is behind a building, you'll be able to see the name as you're coming up to it. So it's really useful if you're trying to communicate the name of the streets that you're near. Uh, there's also some AR uh, return to home and landing features. So when you click return to home with the drone, it will draw the path of the flight it's gonna take back to the landing point. Uh, so you'll be able to see exactly where the drone is flying. Uh, and you'll also be able to see an AR projection of the landing point while it's going to land. Uh, so super useful stuff there. There's also the AR power line feature, so you can see the power lines in AR. Super useful there if you're doing any kind of power line survey. And lastly, there is the AR measurement feature, another one that is available on the Matrice 4. Uh, they also made it available on the M400, so in real time you can actually draw lines uh, with a applicable payload, uh, so you can measure a line or an area in real time while the drone is flying. Maybe you want to find the area of a rooftop or uh, maybe a parking lot. You can easily just draw around it and see exactly how much square area that uh, area is covering. Lastly, uh, I want to bring up the S1 and the V1. So DJI did come out with a speaker and spotlight attachment for both the M400 and M350. Uh, so the S1 and V1 are both compatible with both drones. However, with the M400, you do get some extended functionality with those systems, uh, such as automatic volume control. So pretty useful, uh, definitely an upgrade from the M350. So have you ever flown the M400 before? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you thought. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in purchasing a M400, visit candron.com will help you out.